Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to learn how to be an effective combat medic, as well as the proper medical procedures to follow in order to keep yourself and your friends alive and in fighting condition. If your friend is shot during a firefight, it is your responsibility to stop the bleeding and execute a sterile blood or saline transfusion to keep them alive. If you panic, you might forget a step in the process or waste precious time, resulting in your friend's death. Recognizing the value of medical supplies, learning how to diagnose injuries, and committing to memory how to cure all injuries is a vital part of being a team player in DayZ. First, let's talk about the art of bandaging. Bandages are used to stop a player from bleeding profusely, which is arguably the most common injury in DayZ. Bleeding is a relatively minor injury, but if left untreated, it will result in certain death. In order to stop the bleeding, you can use either bandages found in first aid kits or rags from clothes, which can be made by right-clicking fabric-based clothes and selecting tear into rags. Both will effectively stop bleeding, but the difference lies in how sterile they are. Unless you treat them otherwise with disinfectant spray or alcohol, rags are much less sterile than bandages, which means that they're more likely to result in further medical issues such as an infection. Second, let's talk about blood transfusions. A proper blood transfusion requires four major components. One, a blood bag. Two, an IV starter kit. Three, a method of sanitization. And four, a compatible blood donor. Just like in real life, each survivor in Chernars has a specific blood type, and administering the wrong blood type to an incompatible donor will result in hemolytic reaction, which kills you. Here's a cheat sheet for compatible blood types, which I've also linked in the description for your reference. You can find out what blood type you have in-game by using a blood test kit, which can occasionally be found in first aid kits. Survivors in DayZ start with 5,000 blood, and a blood transfusion only adds 1,000 blood. So blood transfusions are really only for emergencies when you need blood and you need it now. To perform a blood transfusion, first equip a blood bag in your hotbar and collect blood from a compatible donor. Next, drag the IV start kit onto the blood bag in your inventory. In this clip, I don't have a way to sanitize the IV, which is dangerous as that can result in disease, but normally you would drag alcohol or disinfectant spray over the completed IV. Once it's sanitized, equip the IV in your hotbar and give the recipient his desperately needed blood. Third, let's touch on saline transfusions. Saline transfusions restore a recipient to their maximum health, unlike blood transfusions, which, as I said earlier, only add 1,000. They are administered almost exactly the same way as blood transfusions, except for the fact that you don't need to collect anything from a donor, nor do you need to check for compatibility. This makes them infinitely more valuable than blood bags, so saline bags should have a much greater priority over blood bags when you're searching for medical supplies. As I said earlier, blood transfusions are only really to be used if you have nothing else. Fourth, let's talk about epinephrine pens and defibrillators. Both items are used to wake somebody up if they fall unconscious. The difference is that epinephrine pens can only be used once on a single person, whereas defibrillators can be used multiple times since they rely on 9 volt batteries for power. To use an epinephrine pin, equip it in your hotbar and inject it into the person who is unconscious, taking care not to accidentally use it on yourself. To use a defibrillator, attach a charged 9 volt battery to it by dragging the battery over the defibrillator and selecting the Attach option. Next, equip the defibrillator to your hotbar and select it. Scroll down and select the Turn On option, and then select the defibrillator option when pointing at your unconscious ally. Fifth, let's talk about morphine auto-injectors. Morphine is used to magically fix broken bones. Does that work in real life? No, it doesn't. Why does it work in DayZ? I have no idea, but it does. To use the morphine, equip it in your hotbar and inject it into your crippled friend, being careful not to accidentally use it on yourself. If you find yourself without morphine and with shattered limbs, you can craft a splint out of wood using a sharp object to help restore your ability to walk. Lastly, let's talk about antibiotics and vitamins. Antibiotics are used to fight an infection from a wound. Infection usually occurs when your medical equipment isn't sanitized, so always pick up both antibiotics and sanitization supplies to help prevent infections. Vitamins are used for other types of sickness, such as hypothermia if you spend too much time unprotected in the rain or eat too much rotten food. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Daisy content and follow me on Twitter at Nailstump.